videos and you can watch us also online on www.rba.co.rw. So I'll be looking forward to getting your feedback on some of the issues that we'll be talking about right here on the program. You can definitely get in touch with us and what you need to do is simply use the hashtag debate411 if you're going to be on Twitter. You can come to my Facebook page, Eugene Anangwe. Leave your comment right there and we'll definitely be able to read some of your comments right here on the program. My name as always is Eugene Anangwe. And today in the program we're looking at the state of the nation and of course we would love to understand the role of politicians and of course political parties and of course with a focus on the opposition do we really need an opposition with the current news that we keep hearing with the current report card that we keep having of good economic progress of the country and these are some of the things we'll be looking at in the program my panelists in the studio we have none other than sheikh haridimana who is the member of the elders advisory forum welcome to debate four and one thank you very much also with us coming in for the very second time on the program sunny Nayombia, who's a journalist and of course an observer on different national issues sunny welcome to debate four thank you for having me once again thank you so much and of course uh, the leader of the democratic green party Habineza, Frank is here again. Welcome to Debate 4 and 1. Th thank you very much. Yes. And of course, we have the Secretary General of uh, the Social Democratic Party, none other than Mr. Jean Christus Tom. Welcome to Debate 4 and 1. Thank you so much. Yes. So, basically, the key question here let me start with Sunny because your ears are always on the ground as a journalist mm -hmm. on what's happening, the economic development of the country, and where we are going. Looking at the state of affairs that we have today, do we really need any opposition based on the growth based on the development do we really need an opposition here well that question is a bit tricky because i am not a opposition mm -hmm. party mm -hmm. member mm -hmm. i'm not even a member of any party to be honest mm -hmm. uh do we need an opposition well the question is do we have an opposition mm -hmm. uh according to our constitution it says that 50 percent of power can only be held by the ruling party and the rest must be members of a certain coalition. Mm -hmm. So if we look at our government, mm -hmm. of course we need an opposition because they are part of the government. Mm -hmm. So all these things that you're saying that are positive, mm -hmm. opposition parties have played a role. Mm -hmm. However, let us not forget that all those things that we call negative, mm -hmm. they have also played a role. Explain that. Explain it. Well, because they are part of the administration. Mm -hmm. If there's a problem in the Ministry of Education and it is uh, led by uh, someone from a certain party who, you know, uh, and things go wrong there, that's his fault. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the buck has to stop at his uh, table. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter whether or not he's a minister within President Kagame's party or on not. RPF. Mm -hmm. He represents his party. That is why he's there. And they are the opposition. In and they are opposition. Do, do you look at yourselves as the opposition? You are from the PSD and you're part of the coalition, uh, you know, members of, 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 of government. But, but do you look at yourselves as the opposition? Because he says you still play a role. Whether we have success or failures, they still a role. But first of all, do you look at yourselves as the opposition? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, as PSD, we are an independent party. Mm -hmm. Of course, because we are not in the coalition of RPF, but from the Constitution, we agree on fundamental principles where we say we have to find a way to dialogue and, where it's possible, to agree mm -hmm. or to, pro to find a compromise. Mm -hmm. So, to us, an opposition is a way to add values. Mm -hmm. So, we are adding values according to our constitution. So okay. That's how you're playing your role. Yeah. Um, uh, Sheikh, because you sit in the advisory forum and you advise on policy issues, security, you know, everything governance. Where do you stand in this part of debate or conversation? First of all, we have to respect the constitution. Mm -hmm. It is a constitutional matter. Rwanda, immediately after independence, mm -hmm. It had multipartism. And after a few years, it was rejected by the government in place by then, without telling the people. Mm -hmm. 
we are under one political party. Mm -hmm. Then, from 1994, I mean 1992, up to now, we accepted to work under mm -hmm. multipartism. But it was insisted in our current constitution, mm. which was voted by the people of Rwanda and accepted by them in 2003, that we are moving as multipartists. Mm -hmm. So we accept multipartism, we accept ruling party, we accept coalition, we accept parties, political that parties. That run independently, yes. yes. Mm. Work independently. And we accept even opposition parties. Mm -hmm. So this is constitution and uh, there is no way to hide from it. You cannot run away from it. Yes, that. we accept it. You accept it. 100%. Uh, Frank, Dr. Frank, actually, you, you're here and, 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 and the word opposition is being thrown here and there. But there are those who are asking, but what are you opposing? <coughs> um, thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, I would like to concur with uh, uh, what uh, others have said. It's a constitutional matter, the opposition, because Rwanda is a, um, a multi-party democracy. And um, <coughs> because of that, uh, the country accepts different ideas from different political parties. Mm -hmm. uh, from our own perspective, uh, we, s we understand that uh, there is a ruling party, the RPF, which has uh, six other parties they are in a coalition with, is uh, at least from the last parliamentary elections. Um, so, um, and you know, we also understand there are two other parties in the parliament, PR and PSD, which are not in the official coalition, but are in the government. And uh, with PSD having even the prime minister, so we don't consider PSD as uh, an opposition party because <laughs> it is in government and it also has the prime minister, who is the chief of the government. Mm -hmm. and so uh, that doesn't make them opposition? No, they're not. Do, do you agree with that? Do you no, no, I, I do not agree. Okay, we have the PM, the government, yeah. but if I quote again the constitution, our constitution is the echo power sharing. Mm -hmm. And to share the power, as I have said, is through dialogue and consensus. Mm -hmm. So if there is a dialogue and consensus and the PSD have, has a PM, it's not meaning that we are in a coalition with other PF. Mm -hmm. No, we are working with other PF but so as opposition? As the indip in, an independent party, mm -hmm. we have our ideology. Mm -hmm. we, we complete what the ruling party is doing, we work together. So, of course, we are not in the RPF. PSD, we are an independent party with our ideology. In this country, it's very known from 19th mm -hmm. until now. Mm -hmm. But we, we respect the dialogue and the consensus where we have to agree on some issues. Mm -hmm. including power sharing. Mm -hmm. So we can be in government, we can be in the Senate, in the Parliament, through the consensus and dialogue. Mm -hmm. is what we accept as a, an op a positive opposition. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the question, I'll push you again on that, uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Frank, because at the end of the day, what we're looking at here is, what value do you add as the opposition to all these success stories that we keep seeing, that the reports that we keep seeing in terms of Rwanda's economic growth, what value do you add some person will ask, opposition for what? For what value? For who? <coughs> okay, for us, we're the Democratic Green Party of Rwanda. Uh, we started this party as an opposition party in August 2009. Why? Because we saw uh, there were some issues which were not being addressed or which were being neglected, which we thought should be given more value. These issues concern uh, issues to do with democracy, issues to do with the respect for human rights, which to do is uh, press freedom, uh, freedom of association, and freedom of uh, peaceful assembly, and other issues. Uh, the list is long. And, and you think these are lacking? So for us, we, we realized that these issues were lacking, and we launched our party publicly, and we read a full list of these things we did at Novotel, and uh, we demanded the government to accept us an opposition party. Uh, of course, we faced some challenges. There were many challenges uh, at that time which we faced, but maybe it's a long story which I'm not going into. It took us four years to finally be get accepted. We were finally registered in 2013, in August.
that took us four years. So we still have some issues which we always ask uh, the government, but in particular the ring party, uh, uh, because the engine. It's when it's the engine, it is blamed for the good, it's blamed for the bad and appreciated for the good. Mm. So we appreciate some positive uh, developments that take place. We, 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 we recognize that. But if something wrong, mm. uh, we Frank. say it. B uh. Because it's important to understand uh, yeah. whether these are just vague statements or if they are realistic statements. But when it talks to uh, when you talk of the issues of vague? the lack, <laughs> the lacking things that you led you to, to, formu yourself. to formulate your party. Mm. And I'll bring in Sunny on this because th there's a question that I would like us to, yes. to maybe debate. Mm. Yes. Is the term opposition. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because what happens I've seen I, I, you keep saying that you're an opposition party, you're an opposition party. Mm. No, what you are mm. is a party. No. Yes, I've no, told no, no. you. You're not, a, you you're see, not going when, to define what I am. No, I, no, no, I, told I want you to show. I want to, I want you to can just add I'm your statement. I'm going to yes. explain. Mm. You see, when everyone is trying to put out a certain political program, mm -hmm. okay, by saying that you're an opposition party, okay, and, and, and labeling yourself an opposition party, mm. you are becoming extremely adversarial. Mm -hmm. In our constitution and the way we've chosen to live as Rwandans, yes, yes, as you know, we've decided that okay, what works in the West does not work for us. Mm -hmm. What works in certain places does not, does not work for us. Yes. So why, wha maybe uh, these uh, more senior politicians can uh, help me out here. Why the need to label yourself opposition? Why, why don't you just say you're a party? Because, why the need? Because uh, in any country mm -hmm. where there is democracy, there are always two sides of the coin. There is always the government side, the ruling party, mm -hmm. and this majority, in the French they call it majorité, présentiel, and there is always the opposition. The opposition, there maybe there are two things I would like to, to, to clarify. Mm -hmm. There is opposition with um, uh, means with what and so on for us we are positive or constructive opposition because we are not violent opposition mm -hmm. we make our statements clear we follow the laws of the land and we make our demands legally but there are others who choose to go to the bush and fight and throw grenades that's different type of opposition. so we are not that type so you have to understand that in any country all over the world. When we accept that we are democracy, that we are going to be under multipartism, it's important we will listen to each other, to both sides. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that someone uh, is criticizing you as an enemy of the country, no. But then, isn't that what we already do? But that's what we already do yes. within the forum. Mm -hmm. Yes. The forum sits yeah. down mm -hmm. and then you discuss issues. Mm -hmm. I know that, Frank, you refused for the longest time, as, 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 the, as the head of the Green Party, to be a part of the forum. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, you're part of the forum. Now, your ideas are being shared. Don't say all of a sudden. It was a decision. Yes, what we I'm took saying. We took carefully and decided to join the forum. It yes. was not all of a sudden. Okay. We refused. Yes. And yes. The, we the understanding. Mm. The Let's problem yes. which uh, <laughs> yes. we people in Africa are living is that sometimes you want to copy mm -hmm. Mm. and paste the things from other countries. Is this what they're doing? Exactly. Yes, this is the problem. Because uh, somewhere they are talking about uh, party, ruling party, and they are talking opposition. about opposition, mm -hmm. they want to take it as it is in those countries. But mm -hmm. backgrounds are different. Mm -hmm. Rwanda especially is different from even neighboring countries, mm -hmm. let alone countries which have millions of kilometers from here. Mm -hmm. Now, if we want to live as Rwanda, we should look at our background. And we'll contextualize yes, these issues. So this this is what we need to do. Mm. But calling ourselves a, just the opposition because uh, just the opposition. Would you call them opposition? Me, do you think they're me, opposition? For me, okay, the name is opposition, but they are not opposition at all because they are just uh, there to oppose everything, including even good things. Mm. You tell them this color is blue, you will tell them no, because I'm opposition, it is green mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. You tell them this, uh, the government has uh, built this road, he will tell you, but it shouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. He sees it. Mm -hmm. It is a good road, mm -hmm. but it should be on the other side. Mm -hmm. Only that, because I'm not in power. So I'm opposition. So I'm opposition. Do you, share, do you share the same 
mindset? <coughs> Do you look at it from the same eye? Yeah, th thank you so much. I want just to, to lay it out. Uh, the general said, Guinea Party is sitting in the forum. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if you, if you see the forum of political parties, what we do there, we sit and we dialogue, or we discuss on potential issues in our country, mm -hmm. <coughs> and the Green, green Party is, is there. So to me, I can't call, they want to be oppositions, but I don't see they're adding values to be oppositions. When you're opposed to something, you show tangible, tangible ideas. Mm -hmm. So to, to me, I see them as independent party. That like has a different I idea exactly from different the ruling ideas for, well, for uh, other parties. parties. Uh, Dr. Frank, because just for the benefit mm. of, you know, just giving you a, a fair hearing, mm. because they all feel sort of that we, you seem to be ca copying and pasting. Just the word opposition because you have to because you're not in power. I'll push you again on this question. What value are you adding as being opposition in the growth of this country today? Mm. Now, yeah. whenever the, we see some things not going yeah. right, if we, we, we air Let's it be out. specific. What exactly? Whenever could you, we could see you give something. Exact examples. Uh, we have, I'm just explaining to you mm -hmm. that as an opposition party, we appreciate or we, we see what is going on. Mm -hmm. If we see something is not going right, we say it. Sometimes government can change that, sometimes they don't change it. Why? Sometimes uh, an op a party needs to be in parliament to effect those changes. When we are not there, we may not be able to effect those changes. But there are some issues, different issues we have criticized that have been, even before we got registered, even this forum, the political parties forum we are talking about, it used to be mandatory that for all political parties to go there. We criticized that. So you're the ones who led to yes, the change made it of clear. it we being said that optional. We said that this is not right, this is not democratic, until the parliament accepted to change it to make it optional. We also criticized and the you issue think of it the is because of your ideas. No. You are advising you from the government. You have asked Do me you what you issues agree we have, that we it have is said. They should carry the credit, for Mr. Anang. Yes, Mr. Anang, you have asked me yes. which issues have we said and which which changes have that you can place. carry so credit and tell you if you want to hear that. As we have criticized. This is us. We have said that it was not right for the political parties to be registered by the Ministry of Local Government because there was a, a conflict of interest whereby the minister was also the vice chairman of the ring party. We say that if we are going to oppose the ring party, how can we be the asking from the ring party? We requested that it's better to be an independent. Somehow this idea was listened to. We made uh, a lot of, uh, uh, I was going to say no, it's not, not, a lot of argument about that. And even talked to the Commonwealth observers who were here in 2010 for the elections. They even included it in the airport. And finally people sat and accepted to create the Rwanda governance board which finally is an institution which up, uh, agreed. So you uh, take credit agreement. for that? This is we, what we you're saying. Are you taking credit? I don't yes, think we that did. they can take that credit. Uh, there are many other things. Uh, uh, let, let, let's see out of those two that you've uh, said. I will say more if you want to hear more. Yes, the yes. good thing, I'm a member of the Rwanda Patriotic Front. Mm -hmm. This front which has been in place for a good time, it is now youthful mm. and very, very strong. Mm. It is uh, an industry of ideas <laughs> and it is an industry that accepts changes mm -hmm. with time. And you said they should take credit. Why do you think? And uh, sometimes mm -hmm. we do things this time and we give it time. We say that this one will stay in place two, three years. Then we see that it works. We continue with it. If it needs some uh, adjustments, adjustments, we do them. So we cannot get any pressure from any person, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. especially those who think that they are opposition. Mm -hmm. Because for me, they are not uh, uh, more intelligent than the people we have in the RPF. Or these are political animals who are there mm -hmm. and working some of them more directly and open and some of them are working behind the scenes. So we saw everything before. And, you, and the constitution was made in 2003. Yes. Today, it has been in place for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's no longer the, 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 the population has changed. Mm -hmm. The economy of the country has changed. The, 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 the ground has changed totally. Mm -hmm. So everything needs also to go with time. Mm -hmm. So we change because 
it is time to change, not because you have got some because pressure, from pressure came from Obama. <coughs> so hold, he has hold, no credit at all. You should not take the one. credit. <laughs> no. Hold, this hold, is hold reality. Hold I want to not be because we're taking, taking a very short break, Doctor. And then when we come back, we move the conversation forward. And probably yeah. you'll have the chance if you have yeah. any other things that you really feel you 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 have you have you have credit that you need to take on on those changes as opposition. But of course, let's let let's push that forward when we come uh, from the break. Stay with us. This is Debate 4 on 1. We are live. Of course, you can share the views on uh, this issue that we're talking about. We're calling it the state of the nation. We're looking at the growth of the Rwandan economy and what role are the opposition or the political parties playing in this. Do we really need an opposition with all these successes that we see out there? And of course, we'd love to read your comments. All you need to do is just use the hashtag debate411. That's what I'll be searching for. And of course, I'll also be looking at your Facebook tweets, I mean posts, when we come back. Do stay with us. This is Debate411. So, so, so yeah. Natasha, are we, are we cornering our teachers? Exactly. Are we being unfair to them? At the end of the day, Fiona also mentions that the more you show them this condom, <laughs> the more you're opening up their minds yeah. to having sex. But do you feel well represented? Do you think the media issues are well taken to the table when it comes to advocacy? How do we convince them and say that we shut it down because you exceeded the limits? The word conservation looks just complicated, but how do we simplify this? What role do our schools play then? And the people around our children, what role can they play in order to avoid these children becoming a menace in the society? Yes. Caroline, you just want to sound moral, but you're I... just not accepting the reality on the ground. Well, I want to sound moral and encourage it and practice it. And welcome back. Thank you so much for being with us. This is Debate 4 and 1. In case you're joining us, we're looking at the state of the nation. We're looking at the role of political parties and politicians. And of course, with focus on the opposition, on the success stories that Rwanda is having. Do we really need the opposition with these stories that we keep hearing about Rwanda's success? And of course, my panelists right here, we have represented from the Social Democratic Party. That is the uh, Secretary General, who is Jean Chrysostom, and of course, the leader of the Democratic Green Party. That is calling itself the opposition, Dr. Frank Havineza. We have Sunny, who's a journalist. His, his ears are always on the ground and is here with us on the show. And of course, uh, we have none other than uh, the good Sheh Abdul Karim. Welcome again, gentlemen, Thank uh, to you the next uh, half of the show. Now, before we went for the break, because it's important to understand deeply, because uh, um, uh, Dr. Frank here says we have things that we can claim that we contributed. But you seem all to have said, actually, uh, Sheikh, just to be specific, says that, no, <laughs> honestly, I don't think that they need to take credit to that. Mm -hmm. But I, I would like to help uh, you yes, out. Yes, yes. Um, there's one thing that I will, uh, I will thank the Green Party for doing, mm -hmm. and that is uh, challenging the legality of the change of the Constitution mm -hmm. for term limits. Mm -hmm. What you've done is make it possible for there to be a, a judicial ruling on whether it is right for the change or it's not. Uh, I find that very, very important uh, because it will give us stability. We'll get to know, okay, what we're doing is legal according to our own laws. It will be able, you know, that, that noise that you, you'd, you'd hear from outside the yeah. world, you yeah. know? Yeah. You know, whether it has been changed, da-da-da. Once, once the judges rule, that it is either legal or illegal, then we shall finish that problem. Mm -hmm. So I Did have that come as a surprise to you? Because being not in government, would you expect them to just say yes to everything? Well, uh, uh, who? The Green Party. No, uh, personally, 
I was pleased because uh, sometimes, sometimes there is a need for mm -hmm. someone to test the boundaries of certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, I would, I would assume that with a party like PSD, mm -hmm. it, they have, uh, they have a, I, I call it a dog in the fight. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, because they're not, they're part of the system, they, I, I don't see them wanting any change. Like, I was quite surprised personally to, <laughs> to see uh, uh, parties like PSD, PL, also saying, okay, let's, because I thought you guys wanted to, to become leaders of this country. I thought you wanted, that's the whole point, I assumed, of politics at that but national me, level. Mm -hmm. Me, do you know how I took it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I took it like an adventure. Mm -hmm. Because if you have got some adult product, 3.7 million, that is almost 70 percent of the electorate of one land saying something and one person stands here i call him one <coughs> person because uh, uh, green party i don't think that it is uh, has got more than a hundred uh, members mm -hmm. or oh, let them be 200 or 300 and the 3.7 million rwandans are standing saying that we want this mm -hmm. and today you are claiming that you are a democrat no, you are not. A few days 3 .7 ago. 3.7 adults? Yes. A few days ago. 70%? Dr. Frank was on a local media uh, radio, and, and you argued out and said, but this number is not scientifically verifiable. Yes, it's not scientifically verifiable. Yes. So why, why wouldn't yeah. you then come up with an alternative that would verify that indeed the mass does not want this change? No, first of all, uh, these are papers written. Those, uh, the, no one has been able to verify those papers. It's the same people who say that 3.7, but no one else has seen that. No one has opened those boxes. That's one thing. So it's not, even I think even the, the members of parliament, they have not even read each one by one. By one. Is this an assumption or this is a factual thing you know about? Verify what I'm saying. It's not verifiable, scientifically verifiable. Uh, and also we have got uh, uh, information that actually some uh, mo uh, more than one person could have signed on more than two papers, maybe at a place of work. This is taking his another risk also. Or at, uh, at how, his how, how uh, village, yes, yes. village parliament meeting. Yes. Parliament so are representatives of the people. Yes. Mm. They got the letters. Mm. The, 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 the people who wrote the letters did not know their numbers. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. Because if someone wrote and sent it to parliament of a group of people, wrote uh, letters and sent it to parliament, they did not know the, the total number of the letters which were written. Mm -hmm. So the representatives of the people are the ones who say that it is 3.7 plus something. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is doubting them. Mm -hmm. So is it democratic? It's sort of doubting their own yeah. people themselves. Is this democratic? It yeah, it's democratic. Because you know, let, let it can't be democratic, it's it's democratic if you don't trust the members of... Parliament <laughs> were <laughs> elected by the people. It's yes. a democratic republic. I'm so it sorry. is okay to doubt that. And it's I don't think that, 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 that you are right okay on that one Okay to doubt for the sake of doubting or no, just no, no. okay to doubt with facts? Okay, I've made my statement. Yes. Those things, are not they are not yet scientifically but then, verified. But then, Frank. So, mm -hmm. uh, to me, it's the issue actually is not about whether 3.7 or 4 million or what. But with Rwanda, we have 12 million people. Mm -hmm. So 12 million Rwandans, they have not said anything. Maybe if there are 3 million who have said something, or 2 million, or 1 million, that's not the problem. The problem is actually, how did that thing start? Because we have uh, verifiable information that this uh, movement for changing the constitution was started by cabinet ministers. So people followed later. So that is the real issue, and that's why we took the government to court, because we have evidence that some ministers actually started this thing in 2010, even before B but the, the president, argument is that even before the president took it's so a so in for the second term. Yes. So this is where it started from. But so yes. the people followed uh, you Hold on, hold on. On hold what? On. Yes. But the, you the are not telling the truth. Minister. As someone, as someone who has oh, no, I have Let's the speak one by one. Idea Let's friend. speak one by one. Let me hear from, from Sunny. I, I, I feel that we're getting bogged down mm. with, with the numbers and this. Yeah. Mm. Let's mm. look at the facts. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Is, and that's why you're is here. It? Yes. <laughs> Are people allowed to want to change the constitution? Mm -hmm. is is it, is, are right? we allowed? Is, is it their right? right? 
the constitution is for people. Okay, they, two, is it legal, which is what you're challenging, mm -hmm. that it's legal, mm -hmm. that there, even if Sunny, I'm just one person, and I say I want to change the constitution, whether it's, whether it's Bwana uh, Muyowozi mm -hmm. or someone else, mm -hmm. it is within their right mm -hmm. as Rwandans, mm -hmm. whether or not they're in cabinet. Mm -hmm. Yes? Do you, do you agree with that? There is a procedure. In no, do you agree that a cabinet minister yes. is, allowed. Ha, is allowed, allowed to yes. have an a, his own opinion? A cabinet minister, a minister is representing the government. Does, is so, he allowed uh, when to he have speaks, an opinion? When he speaks, mm -hmm. whether he is at his home, whether it is in church or where, is he allowed to we, have his we, opinion we when see he him speaks? as minister. Mm -hmm. But then so you, maybe you're, talking about a, you're talking about legal but, things. Yeah, but is if he, the minister writes something down yes. and speaks on radio, yes. then it's no longer a uh, personal opinion. It's yes. a public opinion. No, but it's his personal opinion. Yes. If he's there, yes. because I, if, you're, if you're talking about the mm. minister of the interior, mm. who said he's on the record as saying, I think that we should continue with this leadership. Mm -hmm. That was, he did not say that I'm saying it as the minister. He did not say I'm saying it as the leader of this party. He said, I'm doing it as myself. Mm -hmm. So as Rwandans, we listened to him and they said, okay, it sounds like a good idea because Rwandans know what they want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that you're challenging yeah. the legality. Mm -hmm. Okay, because then it, it you, know, some t you know, because uh, I believe that I believe that democracy works two ways. There also has to be rule of law. Yes. Yeah. It cannot just be the majority, you know, we, the majority, majority rules. says everything yes. and then no, no, no. Mm. Yeah. So there's the majority and then there's the legal side of it. Yeah. Uh, but still Frank feels this, no, this number is not even majority. He says then, we have over 12 then, million then people, but you're talking of three or four million. Then we hold a referendum. Children, yes. Then we, <laughs> no. infants. Yes. Then what's the problem? Yeah. We do a referendum. What are you scared of? Yes. What are you scared of? The the of? The That's the question. Yes. 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 So he, you say he's counting, he's counting including the children? Yes, he's counting including uh, the children. But the 3.7 <coughs> which we are talking about yes. are adults. Yes. People who are above 18. And are allowed to vote. Yes, are allowed to vote. So I want to clarify yeah. one thing. So as you've said before, when you begin, it's not good to be in a position to be there only, so to oppo oppose everything. Mm -hmm. When you say that the numbers are not there, the numbers are there because if you, even, if you can even ask people to go there and they count one by one, you will have, because we don't have a, a parliament where they can lie, mm -hmm. the population. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Secondly, mm -hmm. as social political party, mm -hmm. because the journalist said that the PSD, because in the government it was not uh, clear that he can refuse, but we respond to the need of population, mm -hmm. to the yeah. social welfare mm -hmm. of the population. Mm -hmm. When you see in the radio every e e e evening, every evening, every day, people calling, we need the country to be changed. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. If you are in democracy, democracy mm -hmm. work for the people, not for your own personality. Another thing I want to say, don't see only 101 as an article. Mm -hmm. See the constitution as a war. Mm -hmm. As he said, the, the, Sunny asked a very important question yeah. and a very straightforward question. Why are you scared or why do you seem to be scared of a referendum? No, no, no. We are not scared of the referendum. Mm -hmm. For us, we, we want to be sure that uh, we have challenged the legality of this uh, whole issue and uh, we have uh, asked the Supreme Court to stop uh, this changing of the constitutions because we believe that Article 101 should not be changed because Article 193 talks about a referendum in the case of the term of the office. Mm -hmm. In our own understanding and our interpretation that the term was one for the seven years, which is mentioned in Article 101, the first phrase where it says the term of the pre of office is seven years, renewable once. It also says um, in uh, phrase three, that uh, section three, that uh, the term, the, no one is allowed to have uh, more than two terms, more than, under no circumstances, can a person be present for more than two terms, which is 14 years. So we saw that there's a difference between terms and term. So for us, in, in uh, section one, the term is seven years, renewable ones, and in article 93, they said that there can be a referendum for the term of the president, which is the seven years. So we believe, even according to what uh, Honorable said, Rwanda 
had a problem before where we had one party system where a president was there all the time. So people, when they were drafting this constitution 2003, they were thinking about that, that if we put seven years, maybe we may need to reduce that so that we don't have a monotony like it was before. So that's our interpretation. We think we and, believe... And that the courts will have their we own believe interpretation. That the, the, what they meant the constitution is it reduced from seven to five or to four, but mm -hmm. not to make it two, three, or five terms. Mm -hmm. So because this is I, why I, 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 we are I, I, well, this For me, yes. Frank and his party can go anywhere they want. Yes. But to me, I'm looking at the people. Mm -hmm. yeah. The 3.7 are saying, mm -hmm. does he have the right to say that you have no right to change your constitution? Mm -hmm. This constitution was not there before 2003. Mm -hmm. It is the people who put it there. Who put it there. Yes. And Let today me they are saying that they want to change it. Yes. Even if they change all the, the articles, articles, not only 101. Yes. It what is, is the problem right. with him in there? Yes. Uh, uh, let me just read a, hmm? a, a tweet that has just come through from a guy called Mugabo who says the opposition helps bring positive change to government policies without creating conflicts and distractions. Looking at the opposition, has it done that? Has it delivered in that direction? Well, they say that the, the, you, know, you, you need to, to, to see the progress that Rwanda has made. The progress that Rwanda has made is, not, is maybe led by the RPF, mm -hmm. but it's like a good, a good meal. It is not only one ingredient in a good meal. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of this, there's a bit of this, there's a bit of this, and it creates... Because I, I cannot believe... You know, we, we have extremely intelligent people in the PSD. We have extremely intelligent people in PEL. We have uh, extremely intelligent people in all these parties. Mm. And all of them are either MPs or either or members of cabinet or uh, in the various political systems we have, whether they're ambassadors or what. So the progress that Rwanda has made they also own part of it. Part of the success. They own part of the success mm -hmm. because they are, they've put in the work as well. Mm -hmm. So it cannot be, it's not, it, what we've done, I think, as our system is to say that we are in it together. Mm -hmm. Rwanda is for all of us. It is not for one person. It is not for one party. It's not for one group. It's for all of it's us. It's for all of us. Yes, I'm being told that we need to wrap up right now because the news is just about to come that in. But as we go, I, as that we... That is why I want to refer my brother to the... Yes. RPF manifesto. Mm -hmm. So that this is what the, the program for 2013, 20... Uh, I mean 2010, 2017. Mm -hmm. So whatever is happening in this country today and yesterday is mentioned in that manifesto. Mm -hmm. it is so you should go and consult. Alone. It is yeah. not for him alone. Yeah. How about you as we go? Your final conclusion, the state of the nation, where do we want to see this country moving forward <coughs> as your role as a politician? No, thank you so much because, as I said, politicians, mainly social democracy, we do, we work for the people. Mm -hmm. And we are happy because PSD was there until uh, from 19 until now, mm -hmm. and you contributed even to the tangible documents like Vision 2020, EDPLS, ACV. So those are documents to refer when you want to see where the country is going. So we want to be a middle-income country. Economy. And Economy. you want to play a part in And that. we have to play our part. Mm -hmm. yeah. Frank, mm -hmm. where do we go from here? Because you say you came in because you wanted to fill some gaps. Yeah. Have those gaps <coughs> been filled? No, they are not when yet will filled. They be filled. It's a continuous process. So that process. means you're not working? No. For us, we believe that uh, democracy is a continuous process. It's not a one-day thing. Mm -hmm. We believe this is work in progress. There are some things which are going well. Some things which are not yet solved, which need to be fixed. So we believe that it's a continuous process. We'll be fixing what is not going right. We'll also bring in new ideas to making the country better. And uh, those who make uh, mistakes uh, sh uh, should either be punished mm -hmm. or accept to change. So uh, we also expect the government to be um, more reasoning and more tolerant to uh, different opinions, even if they don't like what we are saying. And also to ask the Honorable, as the elders, to be always advising the young people so that we can go in the right direction. Yeah. But uh, uh, otherwise, I think the country is owned by all of us. No one should uh, claim total uh, responsibility of, of owning everything. So all of us play different roles in our different capacities. Mm -hmm. 
Super. Thank you so much. But you seem to want to add something when you mentioned that the government needs to listen to us. It's as if it doesn't. The Does it? The government is listening to everybody. <laughs> the government belongs to the Rwandese people. Mm -hmm. It does not belong to the president. It does not belong to a certain group which is for the Rwandese and it works for the Rwandese. Mm -hmm. Even the RPF has a, a ruling party now in employ. They call it the family of Rwandans. Mm -hmm. yeah. So all Rwandans are there in RPF, mm -hmm. not as uh, members, uh, maybe cadres or whatever, but the ideas which they have can be accepted. Mm -hmm. in and the so RPF. it diffuses so his point. He shouldn't fear. Okay, uh, he's uh, acceptable, and he was accepted. Mm -hmm. And his party, and that is why he's working uh, normally. I think we have no problems at all. Yeah, it's yeah. good work, work in progress. Okay, yeah. <laughs> thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much for thank your time. You. Thank it's you. all that we had right about now. But of course, we'll keep this conversation going, and of course, have probably other platforms to reevaluate uh, yeah. some of these things that we've talk, spoken about right here. Mm -hmm. Wish you all the best in your endeavors. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tweeting. For those who have been tweeting, uh, like um, a member of parliament, Gatawazi, thank you so much for your retweets. Amy Mutangana, you've been retweeting and of course spreading the word and of course Mugabo Sharif and all those who have been on Twitter. The hashtag to use is always debate for and one. Let's keep these conversations going. And of course, I'll see you again next time on Wednesday. We're looking at the issue of sports and the role of journalists in promoting the games in the country. That is uh, next week on Monday from 9 p.m. See you then. My name, as always, is Eugene Adangwe. Goodbye for now. is an EA production.